um, but also to come. Kodak Black and Kalani on a stripper pole. Stay tuned. All right, let's get right into Kodak. Let's get right into Kodak. He took to Instagram to talk uh, very candidly, actually, about his Percocet use and how it's changed. I'm going to go ahead and play this for you guys, and uh, we'll come back and chat about it. I remember a point in my life when I was chewing a lot of perks. Girl, I'm proud of myself. I've never been as happy in my life, bro. I don't know what it's up came from. What the fuck going on? I ain't even gonna say I'm anti-perk. Like, I never took a perk since I've been home. But, bro, my dose is so low that as you're watching, I'm going to go back to the video, guys, but as you're watching, yes, he does have on a hoodie that says, I love perks, <laughs> All right. as he's giving this, but let's focus on the message. Okay, let's focus on what he's saying. I remember a point in my life when I was chewing a lot of perks. Girl, I'm proud of myself. I've never been as happy in my life, bro. I don't know what it's up came from. What the fuck going on? I ain't even gonna say I'm anti perk. Like, I never took a perk since I've been home. But, bro, my dose is so low that I can't believe it myself. Now, I'm telling y'all, bro. Before I just went to chill, bro, bro, I would take that, bro. I could talk about this because this is my testimony, bro. And I'm out of that child. Ain't no shame in my shit. Damn, bro, I would take him, bro. Bro, at least a hundred perks. But my average is 40 perks, says, bro. I'm telling y'all this, bro. Now, I ain't no, to the point I look at this and I be like, bro, what the f was wrong with me, bro? I listen to my music and be like, bro, what the f, fam? Thank you, love. <laughs> Okay, he was kind of bombed by some fans there who were freaking out. Um, wow. Okay, so commenters said that he sounded clearer um, than they've heard him sound before in terms of like understanding what he's saying. Um, they also made comments about his imp appearance improving. Um, of course, he was unfortunately recently incarcerated. Um, as you may know, he received a presidential pardon from former President Donald Trump in the past, but found himself in another situation where he was incarcerated and a judge sentenced him to um, drug re rehabilitation. Um, looking at the video, though, the numbers are astounding. He said 100 or 40. Maybe that's per week. It can't be daily. There, I don't think you can take that many pills daily. Um but here's the thing, guys. Many artists simply are not in their right mind. And the more out of your mind you are, the further you can go. Um, he mentioned listening to his music and having a reaction to what he created in that state of mind, which to me, that was the most interesting part. Um, I think the longer he refrains from these substances, the more he'll be able to think clearly and reason. Um, and that's certainly the benefit of being sober, clean, whatever you want to call it. And it's not about being morally superior. Um, yes, I'm a square. <laughs> oh, shout out, to, shout out to all the squares. Um, but it's about being all the way there so that, you know, your brain is functioning correctly. You're perceiving things correctly. You're making great decisions and creating the life that you really want. So shout out to my straight edge people, um, in every genre, every scene, um, I have straight edge friends um, who I really care about and to those who are on their clean and sober journey. Um, if you're listening to this and you're on such a journey, I want to say much love to you, even for a period or a season of sobriety. I think that has a positive impact on your life and on your success. Culture, trending topics and more. Subscribe to Own a Spot Live and join our wake up show weekdays on a spotlive.com.